Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about built-in device compliance policy. You can treat this as a lecture for the troubleshooting purpose or for the good understanding. But this is very critical. Uh, if you don't understand this, you might uh, encounter different issues throughout the uh, course. Uh, to begin with that, uh, let me go back to the Microsoft Intune. Let me show you where exactly this built-in uh, device compliance policy. So you can check out here the compliance policy settings are available under device compliances. Uh, this is nothing but device um, con compliance specific to the uh, built-in policy. So you can change either complaint or non-compliant uh, based on these three different settings. So these three different settings are very critical uh, in other words. It's going to actually uh, configure additional security for all the devices as it enables uh, for the administrators to uh, make as a, it's going to uh, make it in the, within the console as a compliant. Let me show you that also. Um, uh, for example, if I go back to the all devices here, it's showing as a complaint already for the Chris device. Uh, but what if uh, the built in device policy itself not a complaint because it is complaint because the Android enterprise uh, work profile policy policy has been assigned that's why it is uh, the fir first built-in policy is in complaint state uh, I mean to say uh, you can easily identify if any of the devices are not assigned any of the policies then we can treat that as the complaint or non-complaint so most of the uh, internet pins what they do is they set it to uh, default uh, device complaints as uh, if any of the policies are not applied then consider that device as the non-compliant so I'm gonna demonstrate that how to uh, make it as a non-complaint and show you so that uh, you get some idea uh, how it actually works in the past four to five uh, minutes or uh, whatever the uh, starting of this video lecture we talked about uh, the importance of the built-in device compliance policy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, take this Chris device and mirror cast to the my screen and uh, show you whether it is complaint or not once the device is complaint I'm gonna actually delete one of the policy uh, which is applying for Android specific device so it's very similar if you're trying to do it for iOS or uh, any of the device uh, based on the uh, platform so I have taken here as a consideration for just for the Android so what happens is this specific device uh, if it is uh, not getting a, any of the policy so we need to create some of the security policies by having the security policies uh, would ensure that uh, the device is uh, more secure for example the password maybe or you need to you know, configure some of the settings uh, which must be configured for the uh, security purpose so let's uh, demonstrate that uh, so I'm just pulling the policy on this machine and show you uh, in the uh, Microsoft Intune portal also this uh, specific policy if you see here the old policy is 1801 and in the console also uh, it should show as 1801 uh, specifically so let's go back to the overview or let's go back to the devices uh, another way uh, Chris select that's Chris specific device and have a look on it 1801 uh, it is compliant uh, which is 160124 PM as compliant so what I'm gonna do is uh, it should um, any point of time since we checked with the device settings and the policy has been pushed out uh, it's it might have take some time to uh, come up the policy time for example it is 1818 or 1817 between it has pushed out the specific settings now uh, the its complaint so if I refresh in the last check-in uh, timestamp is uh, 1617 you can get it uh, from the more uh, uh, by clicking on that uh, more or more to see so this is where uh, you get it actually more information uh, with the last check-in time so if any device if you're trying to establish a com communication problems if you think that you need to check out for the last check-in time so let's have a look on it it's uh, 1617 and 16 in this case 1817 so both the matching time zone or the time uh, so this device is in a complaint now what I'm gonna do is if you can you know look at here Android um, enterprise work profile which is another policy which is uh, which is setting for this device so that policy contains my uh, minimum password length and other other uh, jailbreak to be not to be uh, uh, not to be you know jailbreaking devices such kind of you know critical uh, configuration has been configured under 
enterprise uh, Android enterprise workflow profile configuration or the compliance policy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unassign that specific policy in a minute so that you will understand uh, uh, more you know uh, what happens uh, if you you know what is the advantage in other way for the with the help of uh, default uh, built-in uh, device complaints so I'm just going to the device complaints and policies you can check out here if I just uh, minimize this uh, this is the Android enterprise work profile and assigned is yes because um, we did assign uh, the specific policy to a specific group for the Chris uh, and you can check out these uh, three different settings which are talking about marking the device for the complaint to non-compliant uh, by applying this built-in device compliance policy so the first uh, setting which is talking about mark devices with no compliance policy assigned that means if no policy has been assigned to that uh, device how do you want to treat you want to treat as the complaint or non-compliant so as in that let's take a one business case you are you invited or one of the user uh, has enrolled to the device but there's no policies has been uh, applied for the complaints purpose so how do you know that so it would be difficult if uh, the uh, device does not have any password or uh, he, he can play around it um, like if he lost it the company data also lost almost so to secure or if you want to configure conditional access that must be a uh, device must be a uh, complaints because conditional access is nothing but if the device is not in your uh, region not from your not coming from your location or not coming from a specific subnet uh, so it would you know point or it would check all these conditions so when it's a condition here the complaints are non-compliant that information need to be validated so that's why the built-in uh, device compliance policy is very critical and very important so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna make this uh, as the uh, non-compliant um, like if there is no policies assigned if no policies assigned I'm treating as a non-compliant uh, and uh, also uh, to make that definitely Android Enterprise work profile which is currently assigned I'm gonna un unassign that so just select that policy go to the assignments and uh, simply take out the target for the Chris and TV with uh, demo users so that would save um, once you are saved again I have to you know just for the wait for some time or I can um, here it's not now it's not assigned definitely but uh, what I can do is I can you know pull up the policy uh, to again get the uh, get the details so that would actually uh, get the policy information and it should show me as the non-compliant so I'm just trying to do the um, uh, sync also so once I once it's synced uh, I'm gonna wait for a minute uh, and then you can check out the 21 is the uh, current timestamp and it's a 20 so it's close to the timestamp and uh, this might take a minute or so uh, in the Intune portal because it's not immediate like as uh, like you see on the end users device that's why you know you can see here is it is showing as a complaint but I might have to wait for a minute or so and I can drill down further with the device complaints on that specific device whether they are compliant or not so it's still the same case so I'm just syncing here uh, so that it's gonna sync up it's gonna sync up and if you see here on the device anyway it's showing uh, the devices uh, devices uh, needs to be updated device settings to be a complaint so if I just either refresh or the page loaded uh, it should actually show up so I'm trying but it doesn't work maybe because of the uh, page load also because I may have to wait some more time to actually see I can't force it so uh, it's take it will take some time because that's how Intune works because it's a cloud service so it might take some more time uh, let's give another five minutes that's uh, that's what if you push out any of the policy you see it, it's now uh, showing as a non-complaint so you need to give at least five minutes of time so has a complaints policy assigned no so it's not apply uh, it's not assigned that's why it says the default uh, device complaints policy is not applied so if I refresh now it should actually show me that uh, this specific device is uh, non-compliant so I'm just thinking and refresh and now the device is showing as a non-compliant so uh, I can just uh, minimize and uh, show you here it's clearly uh, visible that non-compliant so this is how it's gonna work and uh, that's why the built-in device complaints policy is very very important and it is very critical to identify any of the new devices that you are enrolled uh, if there's no policies applied you can easily identify them and you can also configure the notification settings so that it's it's uh, gonna deliver a message also to summarize this um, this is gonna really help you to ensure that the uh, if the user was accidentally or included in a complaints policy or or not uh, not assigned in any of the complaints policy also you would come to know that whether uh, this machine is complaints or not uh, so that you would be again 
revalidating that to assign a specific policy or relevant policy for that specific users and that's how it's going to work thank you for watching this